Joining me now is the superintendent of Muhlenberg School District over in Berks County, Dr. Joseph Maturola. Joe, thank you for taking a couple of minutes to chat about your district and what's going on. Uh, first, uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, what Muhlenberg's doing uh, in the middle of being shut down and preparing uh, to go forward. Well, we have, uh, we have an executive team uh, that is meeting every day. Uh, we have our essential employees here on campus as well. Uh, and we're offering uh, emergency meals for our uh, community, our children, our families. Uh, Nathan, and uh, it's incredible. Uh, we are uh, we serving over 500 meals a day uh, through a drive-through process. Uh, so we are continuing uh, to keep uh, uh, the human element uh, in the forefront of our decision making. We want to do everything we can to help our kids, our families, uh, and we know that, uh, that this could uh, continue for some time. Joe, you talked about helping kids, and obviously that's been the, the theme of everybody that I've had a chance to talk to. Let me ask you a little different question, though, about your staff and your administrative team and all of that. I'm sure that's an extra challenge in terms of making sure that they're safe uh, also have the resources that they need, and a lot of them probably working remotely. What has your district done to, to kind of uh, work with your, your uh, uh, employees? Well, we've been, we've been in a very steady period for the last two weeks, especially uh, when COVID-19 began to, uh, to peak here uh, in our country. Um, we wanted everyone to, to just keep a very mindful approach to what this is about because we are in unprecedented times and territory um our staff knows that uh, that, that at, at some point this is going to come to an end uh, in the meantime we are keeping communication open with them uh including you know enrichment opportunities for our kids uh so that uh, they can keep their skills uh in a, in, a, in a place where when we do return, uh, we'll be able to take the steps forward. Now that's a, that's a very broad brush here uh, to, to say to you because I think there are a lot of implications to that. And we are all, all 500 school districts in the state of Pennsylvania and across our country are, are fueling our way through this uh, as, as the best we can, knowing that there are so many unknowns yet to be answered. It's only been going on a short time, really, in the grand scheme of things. But any uh, any lessons learned so far? Things that other folks should be uh, looking out for? Uh, advice for for other districts? Uh, yes, uh, and that would be to be as compassionate and understanding with all of your employees and everyone that is associated with your organization, the best that you can, and uh, put the human element first. Uh, we do have employees here. Uh, uh, that are working hard uh, through these very difficult times. And you also have to be very considerate and understanding of pre-existing conditions. Uh, this, is a, this is an invisible um, deterrent that we're dealing with. We, we are dealing with something that uh, we've never seen before. Uh, and people are reacting to this so far, I think, very reasonable. Uh, but let's keep in mind uh, that there are people that are not handling this very well uh, from a social emotional standpoint uh, because they fear that things are going to get much worse. And uh, we've made it very clear and very uh, uh, encourage people. Hey, listen, you need to go talk to somebody. We gave a list of mental health uh, components here in Berks County. Uh, our own behavior specialist that we have on staff here. Uh, we're opening the doors uh, the, to anyone that needs to talk about this. And I think if there's any advice, and I'm sure the other superintendents and all the leaders, municipal leaders and, and state leaders know that, uh, that the being as compassionate and understanding as possible is a key in unprecedented times like this. Joe, before I let you go, because I know you've got uh, other meetings and calls and we're all kind of jumping from video conference to video conference today. Uh, reactions, as you mentioned, you have like 500 students going through a drive-through process. Reactions from parents, reactions from students. How, how are they doing? Uh, you know what? In incredibly good. Uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, mind, heart, and soul, 
I, they're smiling when they come through. And we've had a couple of parents and kids emotional because of the, the gratitude. They're so grateful that you're there trying to help them. Uh, and they're concerned. Uh, I, I actually had a card handed to me the other day from one of our kids and just, uh, you know, thanking, uh, I, I don't, I didn't deserve it. It's everybody else out there doing it. Uh, I'm just uh, the, the admiral with two hands on the wheel of this aircraft carrier right now. And uh, we want to keep it going and steady. Uh, as I told everybody, come, come land your problems here. We will take care of you. Uh, and the kids coming through know that, uh, that, that you're a, uh, you're a beacon of light for them when they see you there. Uh, and they also gave our, our kids, our, our teachers and our administrators uh, and our staff that are handing out meals uh, a report card for, uh, for handing out their lunches. And they gave them all A pluses. And we did tweet that out. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's, really, um, it's really connecting when you see our kids and our parents coming through. And a lot of our parents do not speak English. Uh, they are English language learners uh, uh, themselves. Uh, uh, kids that uh, uh, are learning uh, English for the first time, a lot of Spanish speaking uh, uh, community members here and kids, and they're just so emotional. Um, actually, one actually hand, handed me a rosary the, uh, the other day. So, uh, yeah, you know, and you know, hey, listen, I know this is public education, but man, this is really about people. I mean, it really is. Um, I just hope we're all going to be in, in, in a good place in four months from now when we all look back on this and, and, and learn from what we hopefully will take to a better place as we're done. But I know there's going to be an awful lot of uh, lawful considerations, educational considerations, especially for our special uh, needs children uh, or uh, children with intellectual disabilities. And those that are looking forward to going to college or into the workforce, what is America going to look like? Uh, so we have a lot, I think, as, uh, as a nation uh, to, to grasp uh, uh, when this is all said and done. And our healthcare professionals and our, uh, our, our law enforcement professionals, everybody is pitching in. And, and the people that are working down the corner here at Sheets, God bless them. Uh, you know, yeah, they're, in the, they're in this in the, just like all of us. Uh, but I think, and I know we will get through it, and um, uh, hopefully a, a better public education system for it, uh, and maybe a recentering of uh, of our priorities uh, as Americans. Uh, and one other little piece of all those in the military uh, out there fighting COVID-19 and uh, committing themselves uh, to, uh, to 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 the betterment of society. Uh, a, 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 a salute to all of them as well, and all those serving. Um, but we have a lot to, I think we have a lot to, that will come out of this, Nathan, as, as we come to a close. Joe, I couldn't have said it better myself, and, and I know firsthand what a great district you lead. Uh, you've got a great leadership team over there, and it sounds like just uh, in the toughest times, uh, really seeing your way uh, through it, uh, and, and Muhlenberg's certainly going to emerge stronger on the other side for, for all the challenges. So I'm, I'm grateful you could take a couple of minutes out of what is an incredibly busy time for every superintendent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for asking me to be part of this and thank you for all you do at PSBA.